Hey guys, welcome to Valley Engineering. Today I'm going to be building our wing spar. Thought I'd show you how I do it. What I've got so far is a pile of aluminum. Our wing is all welded aluminum construction and these will be all the material that I need to build the main spar. Uh, it will be 24 feet long when it's done. The middle section is a 12 foot tube and then it'll have six foot added on to each end to make 24 feet and uh, what I've got so far is I've got it marked out it'll have a second tube that slides inside this one it'll be eight foot long just to strengthen it a little bit so I've got it marked out this is where my eight foot ends and it'll just get riveted in place just to keep it from wanting to slide around inside there and then I've got it marked on the ends where the six foot will slide in and it gets riveted on just to hold it in place until everything's welded together. So I've got everything laid out and marked up. This is the center section of, of the spar. So later on in the building process, that'll give me a reference point to get everything set up and, and lined up. And then these will be the sides of the cabin where the first ribs go when I, when I put all the ribs on and then I've still got to do some cutting and bending. Okay, so I've got all my pieces cut now. Uh, these will be my four six footers. Uh, there'll be two for the top and two for the bottom, one on each end. And then my two eight footers that'll go into the center of the two 12 footers for the double wall. Uh, the next thing I need to do is the six foot tubes that go inside of the 12 foot are inch and a quarter and these are inch and a half. So there, there'll be a gap there. It's not heavy wall. So there'll be a gap there. So I need to go and turn some bushings to fit in there and tighten things up and then everything's ready to slide together and get riveted. All right, so now that I've got my bushings made, I'll get everything slid together and riveted in place. I've got my inside eight foot piece installed. It gets riveted on both sides. So now I'm gonna get my outside six foot piece. This is the spacer. So it'll go in and then this will slide into that and it will all be riveted. Our wing does get some taper in the thickness of the wing. The uh, center section is four inches taller than the outer section, so her top piece will get bent. So I'm gonna get everything set up for that. Here's what I've got set up for the fixture. It gives me my taper, so that'll give me something to clamp the top and the bottom of the spar to to get everything welded in. So what I'm going to do now is I'll run that tube through this roller. It only gets a small section of it rolled and bent. So I'll roll it through there and I'll fit it into this fixture. There's what it looks like with both the top and the bottom of the spar in the fixture. I just clamp them in place and uh, this half inch tube, it'll get bent 
and it, it just zigzags from top to bottom. It gets bent every 11 inches. So I've already got all that pre-marked. Okay, so I've got it all bent and it's just roughly fit in there to give you an idea what it's gonna look like. It gets welded at every one of these joints, of course, but I want it centered on this tube. So I'll have a little shim underneath there to, to keep everything right in the center of that tube. And uh, once I get it cleaned up, I'll go through and, and I'll get all these welded on this side. And then that's just a 12 foot stick. So it runs out here and it'll get tapered down to a piece of three eighths, but it'll, it'll have the same all the way out. But once I get all this welded in, I'll get those bent and fit into place and get that welded. I've got it all welded on this side. Uh, I went ahead and bent the rest of the 3 8 for each end and got all of them welded in on each side. The next step is to flip it over and I'll get the rest of it welded and it'll be complete. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get all this broke down and flipped over and welded up and then I'll start in on the rear spar. That'll be my next step so uh, that's how I build the main spar. If you're interested in how I do the rear spar and the rest of the wing, I'm gonna try to get videos on as I progress and move along. I'm gonna try to, to get the entire process recorded and put on for you guys. So uh, that's what I've got for today. Like I said, I've got it done. I'm gonna flip it over and finish welding on it and then I'll start in on the rear spar. So uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.